All right, so I did a, a post about Einstein, and of course I got the typical response, a lot of good bears crushing, but people are like, oh, you're so stupid, you hate Jews, Einstein's great. So I did this picture of Einstein, I'm like, this guy is such a fraud, he's created more fear in the world than anyone I can think of, and he's a liar and a pervert. And uh, people obviously reacted that I'm envious, he's so smart, he's the smartest guy ever, I'm, I'm an anti I'm like, okay, let me tell you two quick facts, and then if you still want to say that, you're not welcome here. <laughs> Albert Einstein uh, first had a child with the only other female physicist that he knew or whatever. I don't know. He had some weird thing. He had a child. He abandons his child. That's already a, a giant red flag. Leaves his wife. Who does he leave his wife for? And these things matter. These things matter a lot. The character of the man says everything. Who does he leave his wife for and his child? His cousin, right? Just to be, That's not the biggest one yet. Okay, so he marries his cousin. He proceeds to commit incest after he abandons his child, right? Who does he leave his cousin for? His cousin's daughter. He toured the world fornicating with young women after he married his cousin and then had an affair with his cousin's daughter from a previous marriage. Pure wicked. He worked as a patent clerk. He's very alleged to have stolen a lot of stuff he did. Nothing he postulated is valuable at all. You know, people are like, well, you know, the theory of relativity helps out the GPS coordinates when something's moving, it's like, okay, Tesla, radio, engine, remote control, power, alternating current. Like Einstein came up with the theory of relativity as he was trying to convince people that morally it's also relative. And so you can have sex with your cousin and then your cousin's daughter. He was a sick man. He stole, he lied. He was a wizard. He manipulated people. He tried to create fear. He was wrong about way more than anyone wants to admit. He was um, not valuable. He abandoned his kid. He fucked his cousin. And then he fucked his cousin's daughter. So yeah, feel free to put his face on your wall at college. But just know that you were programmed to think that Albert Einstein is the smartest guy ever. Look at his wacky hair. He was a pervert. He was incestual. And he went after the daughter of his cousin after fornicating with her. That's as an adult. That's as a world-renowned scientist and wizard. Right? Disgusting. So when you tell me that I'm envious or I'm anti-Semitic. No, I'm anti-guy who fucks his cousin after abandoning his kid and then fucks his cousin's daughter. And yeah, these things matter. These values matter. Calling this shit out matters. When you put posters on your wall of men that do that, next thing you know, there's drag queens reading sodomy stories to your kids. All our kids. And someone has to say no. So why do I do that? Because values matter. We don't worship men that fuck their cousins and their daughters after abandoning their kids. I don't care how good you are at your math equations. His character wasn't slander, but guess whose was? Tesla. They say Tesla married a pigeon. I've looked into that. Tesla didn't marry a pigeon. No one was having more fun than Tesla. No one's having more fun than Tesla. Tesla was such a legend that when he died at 83, everyone thinks it was deep state. Do you know how much of an absolute legend you have to be to invent just about everything? Require no money for it because you're just so on another level. And then when you die at 83, everyone's like, he was whacked. 83 is a long life. Dude, Tesla got it. Einstein was Tesla's bitch. Tesla, Einstein was so much Tesla's bitch. See, this is the whole point of the thing. This will wrap it up nicely. Einstein and Tesla spoke completely different languages. It's kind of like what I was talking about, Roosh, where I showed you guys... Uh, this, right? So, Rouge V, the most famous pickup artist, blogger, well ever, has just declared to his followers that he is now a devout Christian and no longer approves of casual sex, and they can't talk about it on his website. I'm like, good for you, Rouge, that's awesome. I can't even conceive of the fact that this guy's trying to mock him for it. Like, that to me makes no sense. 
Tesla and Einstein were probably just two different fish passing each other in the ocean. I bet they were like, what are you? And the other one's like, what are you? You know, Einstein's like, wait a minute. You're not trying to fuck your cousin's daughter and try to lie and do wizardry for money? And, and Tesla's like, wait a minute. You're not trying to perfect electricity? You're doing all this just for bullshit? And they just were like, huh, what are you? I don't understand you. And until you go after the kids, I'm okay with it. I'm okay that there are people that are willing to sacrifice their entire life sitting in a little office acquiring hundreds of millions of dollars by doing really quick dollars and cents trades all day long trying to figure out what's going to happen in the market. Fine. If you don't sexualize the kids, that's, that's your move. Some people cannot conceive of a guy who has a marketable skill that can get way more money taking more pleasure in digging holes and putting trees in the holes. It's so true to me that I don't even question it. It's just obvious. It's like nothing's better than a hard day's work. Nothing makes me feel more calm than listening to tunes with buddies and building shit. So it's almost like ships in the night, like Tesla and Einstein, they're completely different animals. And so I get it. I don't care. Like, Small hats can do small hat stuff. Small hats are drawn to things that I'm not drawn to and go for it. But stay away from the kids. Stop sexualizing the kids. Stop pushing abortion. Stop pushing gay marriage. Stop pushing opioids. Stop pushing war. But the main thing is the kids. All right. I'll answer a couple things. Unauthorized.tv. Uh, sign up. I will be, as soon as the bear cave is made, my first uh, unauthorized only episode will be me opening packages in the new bear cave. So sign up for the feed the bear subscription and you can watch that. Um, all right. Cheers Owen. research permaculture. If you haven't already, Oh, I love looking up permaculture. Uh, yes, Tesla actually did something meaningful. Tesla changed the game. Tesla changed the game so much that he was telling people like we can have unlimited free energy and everyone's like, you know, Einstein's like, why would you say that? There's lollipops and fancy pants. And Tesla's like, there's free energy. And they didn't understand. Dude, I face this all the time. I face this all the time in my line of work. One reason why people are like, oh man, you turn on this guy. You turned on that guy. These are people in media. I've had more friction betrayal drama with other men in media than anything ever in my life by far. My first friend in kindergarten, I'm still friends with. I'm still, it, th this isn't a thing in my life. People in media are crazy. And so my life is filled with people being like, but the fancy pants, you know, it's like, but if you say that, they won't give you money. And I'm like, but what's the fucking point if you don't even trust your own instincts anymore?